time. I'm sure you've played the game of rock, scissors and paper. It involves two people, doesn't it? Each of you holds your hand and at the same time you either show a rock, scissors or paper and depending on the combination one of the two is the winner. Here we're going to investigate the situation when there are three players such as Amos, Bin and Christine and we will change the rules slightly. Amos will win if all three of them show the same hand sign that means let's say three scissors or three papers. Bin will win if two of them show the same hand sign so for example two papers and one scissors. And finally Christine will win if all three show different hand signs such as paper, scissors and rock. So who do you think will have the better chance of winning? Before we perform the calculations, let's have a look at this computer simulation. Here is a computer simulation. It starts with 100 trials. That means the game is played 100 times and each time it works out who the winner was and shows it as a bar graph or a column graph. It also includes the fractions as you can see here for example 39 over 400 for Amos and the decimal equivalent of that of the fraction. Of course the three fractions would add up to one wouldn't they because that's the total probability. Also at the top left it writes down or it shows the ratio of the three using Amos as the reference so if Amos is 1 then in this case for 700 trials Bin is 5.5 and Christine is 1.9. Now this will go up to 1400 trials which should give us a pretty good estimate of the ratio that we should expect in the long term. So we're up to 900 trials and you can see already that each time Bin seems to have the better chance of winning followed by Christine and then Amos. But what do you think the exact ratios should be? What should we expect them to be? We've got a thousand trials now 1100. Can you see if we round off the ratios to the nearest whole number what should we expect them to be? If Amos remains as 1, Bin is about 6, Christine is about 2. 1200 trials now. And we can see that Bin is easily winning, followed by Christine and then Amos. Of course we can do this indefinitely with as many trials as we like. The greater the number of trials, the more accurate our estimate and our prediction can be. But already we can see that we have a pretty good idea of what will always happen. And here's the last one, 1400 trials. Looking at the ratios up the top, we can see that bin 5.9 in relation to Amos that's close enough to six isn't it so Bin, Bin's chances are about six times better than Amos and Christine's ratio about 1.8 which is about two close enough to two so six and two so Bin has about three times better chance than Christine. The first thing we can do to perform the calculations is to write down all the outcomes or combinations of the three players. For example, here at the top you can see that one combination is paper, paper, paper. Or another one, paper, paper, rock. And if we go down the list, if we write them all systematically, we find that there are 27 possible outcomes. Out of those 27, three of them 
a favourable for Amos winning because Amos, remember, will win if all three players have the same hand sign. And here they are. Paper, paper, paper. Rock, rock, rock. And scissors, scissors, scissors. Let's do the same thing for the other two players. Christine, she will win if all the players have different hand signs. They are paper, rock, scissors, and in any order. So rock, paper, scissors, and so on. There are six of those. And of course, the remainder are for Bin, where he wins if two players show the same hand sign. Let's use that information to perform the calculations. Amos has three chances out of 27 of winning the game because there are three combinations favourable for him winning. Bin has 18 combinations out of 27 and Christine has 6 out of 27. Now writing those as a ratio, we can ignore the denominators because they are the same. We can write it as... 3 is to 18 is to 6, and simplifying those three numbers by dividing by 3, we have 1 is to 6 is to 2. What does that mean? Well, firstly, out of those three numbers, 6 is the largest, which represents Bin, so Bin has the best chance of winning each time, and his chances are 6 times better than Amos, and three times better than Christine because six is three times greater than two and six is six times greater than one. Of course, you can extend this sort of game by including a fourth player with even more combinations. See if you can do that and let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye-bye.